Ben Foster, who plays Harry Haft in Barry Levinson's new HBO film, The Survivor. Uh, congratulations on the film and the performance, Ben. It's, it's incredible. Uh, the transformation is so remarkable and you seemingly had to do so much. Obviously you lost all the weight. You had to <laughs> gain back the weight, believably play a, a fighter, a, do a credible accent. There's so many moving parts before you even get to the performance. Where do you start, I guess, as an actor uh, when you're kind of building this, this performance, I guess, like, what was your first step? The first, the first, the first step is, is, uh, is reading <laughs> and reading again and reading more. And, and uh, we worked with the Shoah Foundation uh, with, and they were an enormous help um, and, and gave us access to, to insight uh, 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 and, and uh, testimony. So listening to testimonies, not just Harry's, which we have, but I wanted to, I, it's, it's an intuitive job you you'd like to say well this is how i'm going to do this and, but it's it's a physical messy thing being other people uh so i wanted the voices in my head i wanted to hear those voices and then started filling my space with pictures of of the holocaust and um you just start diving in and and that is the joy of the job uh speaking with yiddish experts of how is the dialect different from this shtetl to, to Belchatov, Poland, and identifying that sound. And you just surround yourself with people like a journalist who say, I don't know, you know these things, would you share with me? And hopefully it saturates. It, I think it, I mean, like hearing you say that, I do think it does because I feel like your performance, I don't want to like, again, like I said, the physicality of the performance is, is remarkable. And you obviously had a, lost all the weight and the, the the boxing scenes are incredible and you're in there in the ring and it feels very visceral and all these different things but it just feels so you feel like you just feel like you are harry in it and not to sound like too much of a, a luddite it just feels like it's just a very human performance and i feel like you're able to bring so much of the humanity out and I, I found that to be so compelling in the film because i think another version of this same story could be a little not as much, not as much of the light and the dark, maybe just all the dark. And I think you really get a lot of his humanity in a way, which I, I found really, really compelling. It's so nice to hear. Uh, yeah. yeah. I mean, it, it was one of those remarkable things, one of the many remarkable things that happened when we went to Auschwitz, a group of us before we started filming. And our tour guide bring us through this, it, it, it shakes you, it, sh it changes you. You don't unsee, you can't unsee it. But he said uh, at one point, he said, you know, they tell jokes. You know, they told a lot of jokes. And we were all like, what are you talking about? How could you possibly, like, no, you, ha you have to, you have to. So much of Jewish humor, so much of surviving uh, is, is finding that little, that little spark of laughter and that can that can mean that you you, you can make it the next five minutes and barry felt it was always looking for ways to to play with that it was how do we how do we find the silly or the inconvenient or the clumsy it's it's not all it's not all just brooding you're, you're a human being and it's complicated some of it's kind of silly yeah you, you obviously mentioned Barry, you worked, uh, your first feature film was Liberty Heights with Barry Levinson. Obviously you re reunite here like 20 years later, let's say for, for this film, uh, you know, uh, what was that like? I get like, a couple of questions there, but like, for, what was that like to actually like, you know, to reconnect for this project and having worked with Barry previously to now? Uh, it's not to be, but yeah, it's the joy. It's, he gave me my first job, my first film, my first movie set I was ever on was on Barry's set. Which, of course, shaped me. The experience, his approach to, to making films is I've never been on one before. So how do you do it? And, 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 and there's a learning curve. And his thing is kick the tires. His BS meter is very high, is not interested in the perfect scene he's interested in the idiosyncratic uh, behaviors uh, of characters and how they butt up against each other so he 
he influenced he's influence his influence has, has walked me through the last 20 years so getting to come on set and ask these questions and though he hasn't said it in many ways it feels like an origin film to the baltimore series what it means to, where he was investigating first gen mm -hmm. uh baltimore kids uh experiencing american life and this is how do you get here What's the cost of getting here? What's the thing that they don't talk about? Right. It was thrilling to thrilling to work with them. The cost of survival obviously is like the crux of the, the question of, of the film. And I think it's so compelling. And I like I I'm not obviously there are a lot of movies about the Holocaust, but I've not seen a movie like approach it from that approach it from that vantage point. Like what does it cost to survive? You have the Harry has this great uh I think it's a scene with you and Peter Sarsgaard where he has this great monologue basically about. Uh, the the prisoner who who lost his hat and then has to get the hat back. I absolutely love that scene. I watched it, I watched it twice because I think it's just so incredible. And I, like it's what I was speaking to before about how like it just feels so natural. I I was what well, like I mean I don't maybe that wasn't your favorite scene or whatever, but I mean can you talk a little about that scene because I just found it so compelling and it really gets to like the crux of the film in such a fashion. I, and I just love your performance in it. I love your interplay with Peter. Can you talk a little about like executing that and like what that was like? It's an incredible story. And it and it deals with the the moral ambiguity of surviving. It, it it's it's one of those great stories of what would you do to survive, and is that even the right thing to do? And now you got to live with that. It's Talmudic. It's there's you got you got to keep investigating the what is the cost of being here now. Uh, and it's for love. Mm -hmm. That's yeah, it's complicated stuff. And, and the movies I like to watch, the books I like to read, the conversations I hope to have are, 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 aren't ones where I just get the perfect answer. It's where you get to sit with it and have a conversation with a piece with a film. And I think that scene is a fine example of no easy answers. Yeah, and a kick in the head. <laughs> it really is, and it's like it just is really compelling. I mean, I think it's like for a viewer, it's like really, really compelling stuff because, like you said, it asks a lot of questions. Barry does not give uh, easy answers or any answers. It kind of like you have to like figure it out on your own. And I think that's really, it's a rare, it's honestly somewhat rare nowadays to see that in films because not a lot of films do that. So that's another reason I, I enjoyed this this project as well. I'm so with you. I don't know what happened since the seventies. Yeah. I mean, the 70s, we were all about asking difficult questions without having easy answers. We had an appetite. I did not know what they put in our water, but I like it. I like not knowing. Yeah, it's pretty good. Um, I want to ask you about, uh, obviously, uh, so the movie's in three sections. You have obviously the, the concentration camp scenes and the flashback scenes. A lot of those you're with uh, Billy Magnuson, who plays Schneider, who's the Nazi uh, guard who who uh, uses Harry as as his... As his fighter, uh, it's I, I found his performance so incredibly compelling because he's such a complicated character as well. And I thought your interplay with him was excellent. I, can you talk about like those scenes and you know working with with Billy to make that relationship work? I guess because it, it's such a strange. It's it's just obviously it's like really compelling, and I just thought it was he him and you together are really good. It's it's a it is a complex dynamic. Schneider is. At once, his, uh, his quite possible executioner and savior, and those power dynamics uh, of intimacy, of friendship. Uh, it, it's. Uh, I tried not to think too hard about how it would be received, and, and just just try to be be there mm -hmm. but yeah billy billy's a, a a wonderful actor when you guys were you mentioned like earlier going to auschwitz and and do, going through the tour and like seeing all that stuff what was i mean like what did they tell like how did they talk about or what did what did you learn about like how like like people like schneider and like the nazi guards and stuff and like their relationships with the prisoners because i think that is another you know obviously again like in that case it is a complex relationship it's not just like 
it's not as, as cut and dry as maybe you would think it, it you know from reading history books or whatever i guess what were what like what was what were they like what was like that like for in real life i guess or what what did you guys find out it's unspeakable horrors it's unspeakable uh, and it's so different uh for uh rather than just opening up a book or watching a documentary to touch the rails to see the smokestack it, you feel it it, it it's it, it, it's altering and and so uh, I, I walked away from it and I called up my wife and she's like, we're bringing our kids here. She's like, what are you talking about? I was like, not today, but you need to see it. And it's, it's so important for the, our, the human animal to, to, to know the good and, and, and the truly evil. What I was most shocked about was the invent of, a, of the, uh, the gas chambers. Were, were, were designed because it was bothering some of the SS soldiers to kill so many people and they were having some trouble with it. So they made a room where they didn't have to see it. And yeah, I did not know that either. That's uh... so it marks you uh, and it's the gift of the job uh, of being able to to go to some places and and let it uh, touch you mm -hmm. and hopefully transmit that which we, we that we uh, experienced you know? uh, yeah and I mean like also certainly like uh, for audiences too, I, you know, I, I think I, I interviewed Barry earlier, and he was saying like a lot of <laughs> there. He didn't have exact stats, but I know this is kind of true. A lot of high school students don't even know about the Holocaust, so getting to <laughs> show uh, movies like this and like kind of like keep it <laughs> up is a great uh, way to have people confront those horrors and not forget them, so we don't repeat those mistakes, obviously, and atrocities. That that is the uh, you know you don't want to call it the. Uh... You know, we're not trying to trick people. We're not trying to like learn about the right a little bit. Like, look at it. Right. Look at it. It's not that long ago, and with the rise of anti-Semitism, mm -hmm. we need to be able to look at a, a, a at our past. Uh, it, it's at the same time. What I like most about this film is that it's not an easy film to put on a shelf. It's not a boxing movie. It's not a film about the Holocaust. It, it to my mind, it's it's a movie about hope, mm -hmm. as as the only way through this life. No matter what hell we're going through, keeping the lights on in your heart is what's going to get us through. And I think that's that's medicine I could always use more of. More yeah, money. absolutely. I, I mean, it's hard. It's hard. It's a maybe a hard right turn to talk about your physical performance and, and the the boxing and, and the weight loss after obviously like not to do not to, uh, not to diminish the, the real history or anything. I I was so impressed by that you know aspect of your performance, and I thought the thing that impressed me most is not to besmirch any actor who undergoes a physical transformation or anything, but sometimes that is the performance, and I felt like you were able to do the physical transformation without having it dominate the performance, if that makes sense. Like you, obviously, like we talked about, it. and I guess how tricky is that for you as an actor? Obviously you are losing the weight. You're going through this training. You're doing all these very incredibly demanding things, but you don't lose sight of the character. And I guess, is that tricky for you? Or like, how do you, how, how is that to balance? Well, thanks for saying that. That's just about the best thing I, I, I'd hope uh, to hear uh, because it can't be effective. You can say, all right, well, the actor, you know, the, the last thing where, where people get caught, and I have it too with, with the fatigue of transformation for transformation's sake mm -hmm. is obnoxious. It is. Uh, I work in these waters. Uh, the only way that it makes sense to me is if it's in service of character. Uh, 
it's it's not check out how much I gained. It's I need to feel physically empowered in that boxing ring so I can face off Marcy and I, it's selfish. I mean, it, it is, I, I need it for me because the work that we do, this is it, this is, it's my body, I live in it. So by losing, uh, it was a chunk of weight, um, I just intuited that it was going to inform the rest of the performance. Mm -hmm. I knew that that kind of, personal challenge almost uh, it was obsessive it was it's OCD because I wanted to get to my personal edge of being able to box uh, I want I still be able to fight and still lose I wanted to see where's that edge where I'm no longer conscious not sick not you know, like we didn't do it without you know making sure that I wasn't gonna do terrible long-term harm when else am I going to get the opportunity to ask these questions and and I couldn't face myself if, if the guy kind of comes in I lost like 15 pounds and it doesn't look like how they look when you look at the horrors of the, the holocaust that's sure you can do it digitally but I, I I didn't get into this racket to to do that, uh, the, I want to know about people, and I want to know more about me. I don't get it. I don't get fully understand this human experience, but I can get a little bit closer when I engage my body as fully as I can. And, um, yeah, yeah, that's great. We, we have to wrap up here, but I just want it's one. I know, obviously, so you went twenty years without working. Work, between working with Barry, I mean, are you hoping to do another, you know, maybe not like another 20 years, hopefully, right, for you? Or how do you, what do you think? I told him today, I said, you know, I, like, I'm waiting, I'm smiling and waiting at you. I'm like, when are we going to do something funny? <laughs> well, come on, man, let's, let's do something funny. You are both very funny, so I think it would be good. <laughs> oh, it was so, uh, more laughter, please. Yeah. Uh, ben Foster, star of the Survivor, Barry Levinson's new film on HBO. Uh, in April, congratulations, Ben, again on the performance. It's really great. And thank you for doing this. Thank you. Thanks for having me.